So today let's talk about um, another of the visual elements and that is shape. And right up here in front of you are the um, definitions of it, but you can always come back and get this. Don't feel like you have to write it all down this second, but shape is two dimensional. So that means it's flat. And so that would include things like painting, drawing, something that you would do on a flat surface. Um, a shape does have to have some sort of identifiable boundaries. That means that it separates it off from the rest of the page. Form, we actually talked about form earlier when we talked about the physical characteristics of a work of art, but it does have another meaning, and that is that it could also be considered a three-dimensional area. So, sculpture, right? Um, something that stands alone uh, would have... Uh, height and width and breadth, okay? So those are uh, the, the things that I want to talk about for just a little bit here. But let's talk about the two types of shape. This is going to be super easy. You guys are going to have this down, no problem. Uh, the first one is geometric shape or form, right? Could be flat, but it might be three-dimensional. Uh, and it, so that would be shapes that are based on more um, mathematical sorts of um, shapes. So think of things like squares and rectangles and circles, right? If we're talking about forms, we're talking about cubes, we're talking about pyramids, we're talking um, about um, spheres. So think about things that are a little bit more precise with angles, that sort of thing. Um, this would be considered geometric if you look at it. Uh, the, the shapes are more organized and structural, right? We can have also three-dimensional. This is a David Smith uh, sculpture that he did. And so it would definitely be geometric. So it could also happen in, in sculpture. The second of the types is organic. And organic um, shapes are more biomorphic. So think of natural shapes that happen. So if you look at this, you can kind of sort of see circles, but they're bent and they're moving just a little bit. This, this really is more organic. Think about flowers. Think about, you know, things like that. Uh, natural shapes. This would be a great example of something that's organic um, in, in their shapes. Okay, people, um, people are going to be organic, right? Um, so, recap. Geometric, right? Structural, organized, mathematically precise. Geometric. Okay, the, the, the face is divided into, you know, angular shapes, organic. Geometric could also be sculpture, right? Organic can also be sculpture, right? You see how this is bent? It, does, it doesn't just take on any sort of, like, you can't look at this and go, yeah, I'm seeing you know, triangles, not really, right? It's bent, it kind of morphs into this horse shape. Okay, so with that said, I told you it would be easy. Um, I want you to go and do the quiz over shapes, right? So it'll just put up a picture and you tell me if it's geometric or organic. Thanks guys, talk to you soon.